Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Sports. Breaking news, South African fans rejoice. Our second medal of the Games, the first ever cycling medal for South Africa. Alan Hathaly writes his name into the history books as he takes bronze in the men's uh, mountain bike cross country and what a phenomenal race to have watched and an incredible amount of heart being shown by a man who was up there with one of the favorites but I don't think too many people really expected to see the performance that he did put in and uh, managing to hold on at the end in what was a ridiculously uh, close and entertaining race. And that's what we love about the Olympics, isn't it? It's about these events we don't watch particularly often. I mean, I can't say I know too many people who spend their time, you know, watching the men's, the men's cross country mountain biking, but uh, incredible race. And uh, Tom Pitcock, um, who actually got a puncture in the third lap, dropped down to 15 by the time he managed to get that going. Managed to rein in um, Victor Kuretsky, the Frenchman who had gone up early and uh, established a big lead before managing to, well, before Pickup managed to rein him in. And then literally, even in the last lap, I think Trey positioned a couple of times, right up to almost the two going toe to toe, almost actually colliding. And uh, it was almost the end of things. Um, but uh, both they managed to get through it. And eventually, Thomas Pickup came through for the gold uh, with. Kuresh taking silver and Anne Hathaway taking bronze. It's already almost, uh, almost not going to guarantee, but we're already seeing a much better performance from Team SA. And uh, we're going to be going through doing basically doing a daily recap happening over on Forever Sports Extra. So make sure you go and check out um, that channel. Breaking news and middle videos will be on Forever Sports to so make sure that everybody gets to see it. But uh, we'll be doing a lot more sort of uh, trackers, for example, recaps, previews, that kind of thing, happening over on Forever Sports Extra. So make sure you go and check that out. Um, but what a race it was, you know. Uh, Hathaway went out uh, strong and uh, made sure very early that he was going to be in... Um, contention in fact he actually came through the first lap in the lead and uh, there was basically five um sort of cyclists throughout the race um that were there and thereabout and uh Hathley at one stage uh, was a lone second when uh, victor koretsky decided to put the hammer down got himself into a pretty big lead had about a 12 13 second lead um Hathley then managed to leave behind a couple of people and he got himself to a solo second before a chasing group of uh thomas pitcock luca bredo and matthias um Flackiger um uh, sort of stuck with them the three um uh, thomas pitcock we left them behind uh reined in and hathley who then did really really well to stay with them the two of them then reined in uh victor koretsky um and the it was the three of them for about a lap and a lap and a bit and then on the final lap um those two you know uh, koretsky pitcock put the hammer down and hathley couldn't hang on um but the good news for him is that uh, luca bredo the italian had put in a lot of his effort trying to catch Hathley and just kind of faded out. And in the end, it was a pretty comfortable bronze. Uh, nine seconds um, between Thomas Pitcock and Caretti, just two seconds um, behind Alan Hathley. He wasn't really in contention to put that silver by the end of it. Um, but then a, a further sort of 23 seconds between him and fourth. And uh, what an incredible story for, for a man who's been to the Olympics before, 28 years old. He's an experienced campaigner. Um, you know, I think played eighth, I think it was in Rio. Didn't have a great Tokyo um, from Hillcrest. And uh, what a moment for him to to go and become the first ever cycling medal, for example. Medal number two for South Africa. And that is on the more, or the afternoon before we do see two swimmers in the finals. Tatiana Schoenmacher, arguably the favorite in the 100 meter tonight, looking to try and add to her medal collection there. Um, and uh, the youngster, Peter Kutzer, as well is in the 100 meter um, backstroke. So very interesting to see how he goes. We could be finishing today with, you know, a further third, even four medals. Uh, and a reminder that we've, uh, you know, if we go back to uh, Tokyo, we only won three medals. Satyana Schoolmarker's gold and silver and Bianca Baton duck silver. So the fact that the Blitzbox have added a bronze, Alan Hatley's added a bronze, you know, maybe probably looking at maybe one of the medals between the two, definitely not. I don't think too many people think we're going to get both. Um, we're hoping Tatiana comes back with, with two more medals. Uh, Peter Kutzer could be a surprise one. You've still got the likes of Anakani Thimbini next week. Wade van Niekirk. Um, you know, the rowers um, are potentially so. There are other medal opportunities out there as well. So hopefully we are going to see a much better performance from Team SA. If you watch this race, though, let me know what you thought. And if Anne Hathaway comes across from this, massive, massive congratulations. Pulling South African Cycling on the map. And incredible to, to do that. We all remember the heroic effort um, Murray Stunder uh, put in all those years ago, which was the first time I'd actually ever watch uh, cross country. And um, it, it, was, it was phenomenal. Um, 
when he, you know, that, that, that effort. So, so bystander who, when he, um, when he, when he was being caught up and was in contention, was so close, um, and then tragically lost his life um, about a, a year later. So that was back in London, 2012. So incredible for somebody like him who, you know, we remember that race so well. It's such an iconic race if you did watch the Olympics. So to see now, you know, the fruits of his labor, 12 years later, um, you know, we, we finally get a, a medal in the cycling. Please just smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel. As I said, go check out Fair Sports Extra for more, more Olympic content. Um, but we'll be keeping you up to date with South Africans also here on Forever Sports. Um, thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.